All right, Annette. So, um, one thing that, guys, is going to be very common, and a lot of you, like I said, are having a really tough time. You're thinking, oh my God, all I can think about is like degrees. I'm really having a hard time dealing with things in radians. Um, but one thing, it is going to come time that we are going to be dealing with converting from radians to degrees. So, I do want to show you guys two examples. Um, one example here is how to convert from degrees to radians. So one thing you guys need to remember is if we go back over this, and remember our straight angle, guys, we said was equal to 180 degrees, right? Right. right. Yeah. Straight angle equals 180 degrees. Right. And then we threw in a circle, and we said that all halfway around was equal to pi radians, right? Right. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say a ratio. Well, the ratio... Okay, a ratio, remember, is a relationship, the comparison between two quantities. And what we can say is pi radians is to 180 degrees. I'm not going to write that right there. So you can say 180 degrees and to pi radians. Okay? Now what we're going to do is I am going to, that's a ratio. Pi is to 180 degrees, right? Pi radians is 180 degrees. Now, one thing you guys can remember, so I want to say, if I want to say, well, what is negative 20 degrees, which would be, what, somewhere like around here? Right? Something like that? So what is negative 20 degrees in radians? So first of all, I need to get rid of the degrees. So I'm going to write this out for those of you that are in, uh, you know, physics or chemistry, any of those science classes where you guys deal with a lot of the units. Okay, what you guys look at this, if you guys notice, degrees over degrees, that's actually going to cancel out. And what I'll be left with is radians. So when I multiply negative 20 degrees over 1 times pi over 180, my degrees, what we like to say, cancel out. So I'm left with a negative 20 pi over 180. Well, yes, it is my answer. And then what you'll notice is, you see how the radians is still left? So therefore, I'm going to be left with radians, which we don't really write the radians because we all know that's, that's what pi is in terms of. Well, then now what I need to do is I need to simplify this. So I can divide 20 into the top and bottom, and you get a negative pi over 9. Oh. So that would be your final answer. Okay, that's where it's located. And then think about that. Let's think about, well, where would negative 9 be? Well, if you think about it, if I was to break this into ninths, so it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, four oh, that's not enough, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, yeah, whatever. If I was to break this up into ninths, what you guys would see is going down one unit, negative one of them, is roughly right in that area, right? It's the same thing as negative 20 degrees. So to convert from degrees to radians, just make sure you multiply by pi over 180. Make sure the 180 is on the bottom because remember, we want the degrees to cancel out. The degrees cancel out, so we're just left with radians. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Anybody have any questions on that? No. So that's it for that. Yep.